So you're in high school or middle school and you want to make money. If you didn't know, people are literally making thousands and thousands of dollars per month up to six figures just by having Hey everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela of where I share everything and anything related to education, finance, professional development, even tech advice, whatever it may be. So for today's video I will be sharing with you all five ways to make money as a middle school or high school student. So first up on this list is applying for scholarships, specifically ones that are given out by corporate companies. Now you're probably thinking, wait, aren't scholarships only open to those who are like high school seniors or currently in college? That is not the case there are a lot of scholarships of where you can apply even as early as elementary school or middle school whatever now if you are not familiar with what a scholarship is and you are looking into going into college scholarships are free money that you do not have to pay back unlike student loans and this can help go towards your college education however there are scholarships that are given out that don't necessarily have to be for going to college and you can just use how you see fit so as an example of this the very first scholarship scholarship that I won was during my junior year of high school and it was like a small scholarship only worth $500 but I was able to use those expenses not even for college but for marching band expenses. See I went to a very competitive high school for marching band and we would go to state every year and so there were all these expenses that I had to have covered and that scholarship really helped with that process. Now to give you an idea of a really big scholarship that is open to those K through 12 education there is the Doodle for Google award. So the last time I checked, correct me if I'm wrong, it was worth $30,000. And so with the scholarship, all you have to do is create an image of Google. So you know how when you go to Google's homepage, they have a different design almost every single day. Well, they created a scholarship specifically for that. And there's all these different levels that you can win, whether that's like the top award of $30,000 or a state regional level. And if you want even more of an idea of all these major companies that give out scholarships, I literally have a series of videos here here on YouTube, listing them all out, all these tech companies, apparel companies, finance companies. So let's say that you want to work part-time or full-time at one of these major companies like Walmart or Costco. Well, they have a scholarship program that you can apply to as long as you are one of their employees. And for further details about that, make sure to check out those other videos. And to give you all an idea as to why I constantly stress about scholarships, well, my content here on YouTube and other platforms alike started out with me giving scholarship advice. Over the years, I've been able to win 30 debt-free for two degrees, undergrad and and grad school so this has been an excellent way for paying for your education graduating debt-free if you're wanting to go to college and I personally was able to win hundred twenty five thousand dollars in scholarships and help other people win millions for themselves even way more than myself so next up on this list we have creating digital products now as far as where to put your digital products they can be on like Etsy or Amazon or your website your personal website so as an example of this, I have what's called the scholarship algorithm, my book. It's available on Amazon and other platforms alike. And as a result of putting my scholarship strategy book on Amazon, I get several thousands of dollars each and every month from people who are buying it. Now, I honestly prefer for people to purchase my book through my website instead, because Amazon, when you're selling through Amazon or these other platforms like Etsy, they do take a considerable amount of commission, like 40%, something like that. But if I'm selling it through my website, website that commission is way lower like 10% 5% and I get to keep more of the money for myself which is great because part of the sales from my book goes towards creating scholarships for others and giving that money out so I prefer to sell through my website now to give you even more of an idea of other products you can create outside of a how-to book you can also create like a coloring book if you are someone who is very talented with drawing you can create aesthetic looking calendars or templates check off lists stickers or even certain high in demand printables such as how for in-person events like a scholarship ceremony they might need those tags that they have on each banquet table to tell which one is reserved which table is number 13 versus number 27 there are literally so many people making hundreds and thousands of dollars by something as simple as that so next up on this list is to learn an in-demand 
digital or physical skill that you can provide a service for to other people. As an example of this, when I was an undergrad and still even currently till today, I edit people's scholarship essays. And if you're ever interested in that, I have a service that is linked on my website. But yeah, from the service alone, I have been able to make thousands and thousands of dollars from editing people's scholarship essays or other type of essays. Now to give you an idea on how you can determine your rates for that service. So me personally, when I am editing scholarship essays, I charge based on word count. So let's say that an essay is 500 words, well, I'll charge $50 or if it's 750 words and I'll charge $75. And it typically takes me a little less than one hour to edit one essay. So let's say that I have eight total essays to edit back to back within the same day. And each of these essays are 500 words. So that'll be $50 each. And over the span of eight hours, that would be $400 per day or $8,000 over the span of four weeks and one month. So I highly, highly recommend that you learn an in-demand skill, whether that's essay editing, video editing, digital marketing, or in-person niche specific type of skills. And to advertise your services so that they are more known and more people know about it, you can go on freelancing websites such as Fiverr or Upwork on your social media platforms. You can also promote in class group chats. And on that note, I actually did the same thing. So when it was like final exam season, in high school and college when we would have our group chats I would say I filled out the exam review for you all here it is and I wouldn't charge them up front but then on that document that Google document that I would share with them I would say feel free to donate for putting this together and people actually did someone even sent me hundred fifty dollars for one of my exam reviews because as a result they were able to get an A in that class so next up on this list is to consider starting a vending machine business now if you didn't know people are literally making thousands and thousands of dollars per month up to six figures just by having a vending machine or multiple vending machines in the right place at the right time see some of the best locations to have your vending machine situated would be for example places that young people frequent whether they're teenagers or young adults and as far as what to put in these vending machines of course you can put the general stuff like chips candy gum etc however you should also consider looking into having a vending machine that is for a specific niche so as an example of this i believe i saw someone create a vending machine that didn't have food but instead hair products for the black community because you know our hair is very different and they were making bank from doing that so if you can think of a creative need that is oftentimes unmet for a certain demographic and having a vending machine would really benefit them then that would be a major major business angle now to end off this video tying back into what i said earlier about learning in demand skills I would highly recommend that you learn a skill that you can really niche down. As I was saying earlier, that person who created a vending machine specifically for like black hair care products, let's say that you learn a skill like photography. Instead of just saying, oh, I'm a photographer, you can get really specific. So for example, let's say that you are a graduation photographer, a professional headshot photographer, all these different categories because by doing so it tends to be a lot easier to get your desired clients and then from there of course you can branch out to certain niches of whatever that particular skill it is but starting out try to be in one niche anywho that's all for today's video but i will be sharing even more side hustles and overall ways to make money as a student no matter your grade level so make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video and comment below with more suggestions you have as far as content i should create also follow me on tiktok and instagram and if you are ever interested in learning more about how to win scholarships consider getting my book and my online course now i know this video is geared towards like middle school and high school students and typically around that age you don't really have money so reach out to your parents your guardian whoever it may be to gift you with my book and or online course for you and if you're specifically interested in my scholarship online course you can use this promo code for 25 percent off so many students have been able to win not just one but like 10 plus scholarships as a result of it because i give my step-by-step -step strategies to winning all these scholarships for myself i analyze my applications and i even analyze the winning applications of those students i've mentored over the years and so it is just all encompassing about scholarships and i highly recommend 
you get it if you are interested in attending college. And also a bonus about my online course is that it is also beneficial for other competitive opportunities outside of scholarships, like simply getting into your dream school or internship opportunities, jobs, grants, whatever it may be. Anywho, I hope you found this video helpful and informative and have a wonderful day. Bye.